Hi, it's Afternoon Green Living here, and I just want to um, quickly show you my version of Pepper and Pines recycling a iPad phone case and my version of her recycle containers that she used in her homeschool room. Okay, so I do have an iPhone, but there is a lot of information on this back and even I consider just using this side and there's information there too and I remember when I first got my phone I kind of had a problem with it and they told me that I had to come in with the case but not only that not everybody has an iPhone um, that they purchase so they can't you know use the box and I even went on to social media to some of the online swap groups and some of the local yard sale groups and I was asking if anybody had any iPad or iPhone um, boxes um, for free or for you know to buy for a very small amount and nobody commented so it doesn't seem like anyone is giving um, those up but it's such a beautiful project that she did is such a great idea I figured there has to be other ways and so you can just take any box that's well made um, or just any box period you can make it a little stronger yourself by kind of doubling it up to make it a little sturdier um, or you can just use it as is. So I actually took this tea um, box. I drunk the last little bit of tea and I just cut it to make it even and I'm just deciding on which of these pretty um, papers I'm going to use. I don't have any fancy paper. I don't have any uh, spray adhesive. I don't have any of that stuff and so some of you may not either um, but I just I come and let you know I'm ethnic green living that with a little, you know, you can still do a lot. So I'm going to use my tea box. I'm going to use some double sided tape. I'm going to use some pretty card stock and we're going to have a nice project in the end. Now I'm going to be using my finished product in my scrapbooking room, but you can use yours wherever you want to. I just wanted to show you and again inspire you to let you know that with a little you can do a lot. Okay, so I went ahead and decided on this paper. And what I did was I went ahead and just used some double sided sticky tape and put a couple pieces on the corners of this box. And then I cut two slits here. Okay, I did the same thing to the other side and all I did with this was go ahead and add some tape and I just pressed it down. And I went ahead and did that to all the sides. Now, it's not perfect at all. I could definitely get the little um, kink out and press it here. I have extra paper here. You know, I most certainly could cover the bottom and, and do all the extras. But you know what? I'm not doing that um, because you know what? When I put you know, my items in there, you can't even tell. You know, you really can't. It looks really pretty. Um, I like the way that it turned out. Um, I could definitely add a flower or an embellishment or something um, to it. Look how absolutely beautiful that is on the side. It looks really great in the middle. So there's so many options that could take some um, pearls and put those across the top. I could add a little bit of lace. I can make this really shabby chic using some paper that I have in my house and using a recycle box. So you can go and use your ruler and pencil and measure and get um, very particular and um, exact and precise. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you an overview, um, just a quick little idea of what you could do okay so I have a grits container and I just took the label off of it I'm gonna be using the same um, cardstock that I used in the previous videos all you need is some scissors and um, double sided adhesive tape and that's it so what I did was I went ahead and I cut half of my scrapbooking paper and I just taped it the paper and I'm just gonna roll it around okay, my Once camera. you're done, you're gonna have just a little bit on the edge right here. And what you're gonna do is just take your scissors and cut it okay, off. Okay, so here are my finished inspired pieces. They can stand alone. They can be jeweled up a number of ways. You can attach flowers on the middle, on the top, middle, top. You can 
have your flowers inside, you can have them on the outside. So you can uh, make this project as lavish and extravagant as you'd like, <laughs> or you can make it as simple. I did these with my office in mind, and my office is pink, and as you can tell, I do love flowers. Um, so this is how I am going to do mine. But I could very well take the flowers away, take the tops off, and stick items in there for my kids. And I can label it or put sticky um, alphabets on here. There's lots of ideas. I think you get the, the drift. Um, and just to remind you that you can do a lot with a little. So thanks for watching.